Hello, Rocketeers. I am Ed Case. And I am Odyssey. Welcome to the Pit Stop, keeping you up to date with the Premier League. Last week, the first matches of the league were played, seeing Avidity Esports, Turbulence, Weebs on Wheels and Double Tap ascending to the top of the standings, with Foremost and Boots and Cats just behind. Apollo 11 and Ascension have some climbing to do, though, after some heavy losses mean they come away with only six points each. However, it's still early days and everything may change over the next few weeks. This week we're going to be watching Apollo 11 against Double Tap, Boots and Cats against Foremost, and then a big crunch between Avidity and Foremost. But first, let's take a look at an exciting match from week one. Stace God, Subban, and Chrome subbing in for Snappy make up Avidity, versus House-Sized Bears, better known as Husky, Prime Thunder, and Azzy of Apollo 11. Game 1 commences and it isn't long before these two very capable teams are knocking points off each other. But it is Apollo 11 who really shine first with this surprising move after 3 minutes. Husky down the wing whips the ball across to Azzy and watch this. Getting under the ball from goal side, Azzy diverts the ball with his bumper to put his team ahead. Soon after, and with the score levelled once again, Apollo attempt a teamwork pinch between Prime Thunder and Azzy. But whatever they try, Avidity prove they are equal to it and it isn't long before they are hammering home another shot. Finally, game one goes to overtime, and Apollo are making a push. Husky flips in, missing the ball by inches and knocking it away from the blue goal. Chrome is on it in a flash and takes it up the wall. With all three oranges in attack, he intends to make them pay. A superb water ends overtime and puts Avidity into the lead after the first game. Apollo 11, now in blue colours, come out swinging in the second match, piling on the pressure and it isn't long before Azzy makes his presence known with this freestyle aerial. Perhaps this exhibition was just what they needed because within 45 seconds three more goals have been scored. Avidity fight back valiantly but too late to make a difference to this match. However, they are still full of life and ready for the next game. Match 3 sees some brutal aggression from both sides, barely giving each other space to breathe. It is a high scoring game with steals, close chances, lobs, and dunks. But with 15 seconds remaining, it's Avidity who seal the deal with a rocket from Sub and this beautiful aerial from Chrome. So it reaches Game 4, and as it's only one game away from levelling the score or finishing the series off, things start a little tentatively. In fact, neither team gets on the scoreboard until halfway through the match. Apollo 11 put together a wonderful three-piece attack. As he pops it up, Prime Thunder touches it past Sub, leaving Husky to follow it in without the ball even touching the ground. Two quick-fire goals from Staced God and then Azzy makes it 2-1 to Apollo 11 with just one minute remaining. But Staced God isn't finished yet. Equalising in emphatic style, the crucial game is brought into overtime. No longer tentative, Avidity and Apollo 11 battle from end to end, their attempts getting closer with each attack. Finally though, the substitute Chrome finishes off the series for Avidity. Husky leaps into the air for a defensive aerial but can't quite get the height to knock the ball out of danger, instead hitting it into the ceiling and down for the waiting Chrome. What a fantastic series, which gets Avidity off to a great start, now equal top of the league. Apollo 11, although only coming away with three points, pulled off some awesome manoeuvres, which displays why they are currently rated sixth in the power rankings, and perhaps why Avidity deserve to be up there too. 
Moving into week two, Apollo will be looking to gain some points after only winning a total of two games so far. Today, they are starting under their normal names against Digital, Jamesbot, and Espion of Double Tap. With the first match underway, Apollo apply unrelenting pressure, trying to force the ball in from any position on the pitch. Double Tap put up a strong defense, but eventually a space opens up for Prime Thunder after a quick pass from Husky. Only a minute later, Husky finds another gap, allowing Azzy a shot on an open goal to finish the game. Watch again and you'll see the crucial bump from Prime Thunder which made this move possible. The second match plays out like the car before a storm, with only one goal being scored. A hefty defensive deflection from Espion sets Digital off on an unstoppable breakaway. After this one goal defeat and the rough beginning they had in week one, Apollo 11 appear to be on tilt coming into the third game. Suffering breakdowns in communication, making mistakes and missing important balls, Double Tap take full advantage of their weakened opponent. Over the course of the final two matches, Apollo concede 10 goals, and although they fight harder in the last game, taking a couple of lovely shots, including this aerial lob from Husky, it's not enough to make a difference against this formidable team. It seems as though Apollo 11 are in a slump at the moment, and they're going to need something to turn their fortunes around. Meanwhile, the middle runners of the league so far were pit against each other. Wildy Man, Mike Magic, and Garrett G's are foremost against the Year of the Mount, Lani Akea, and Irma Gerd for Boots and Cats. The Cats are gifted a kickoff goal at the very beginning of match one, but I'm afraid that's as far as their luck takes them in this series. Foremost goes on the offensive, knocking in shots from all over the pitch. By the end of the first match, it's 4-1, and things are looking very bleak for our feline friends. Boots and Cats barely managed to get started, losing both the next matches 2-1, and only managing to score kickoff goals. This isn't to say they didn't fight, though. Putting together moves like this... ...and this. But at the end of the day, Foremost take 9 points, and the Cats leave with nothing. Fortunately, they still have 15 points from Week 1, and their other series this week went rather well. Yes indeed, taking on Turbulence and winning 3 games to 1, they are still mid-table with 24 points. Foremost went on to play a cracking series against Avidity in their second fixture of the week, so let's take a look at what happened. Garrett and Wildy Man are back for Foremost, playing alongside Nugs against Subban, Staced God and Snappy of Avidity, who have already won 9 more points this week in their game against Weebs on Wheels. The game gets underway quickly, with Snappy getting a perfect angle off the wall. Nugs leaps into the air but has difficulty getting the height to knock the ball away. He seems a little off right now, making a few small errors, which unfortunately for Foremost lead to another goal. He promptly makes up for this though by providing Garrett with an easy shot straight from the kickoff. Only a few seconds later, Wildy Man sets himself up for this interesting little maneuver. Whether or not he intends to miss the follow up, it certainly puts Stace God off, and so the score is leveled at 2 2. The end to end battle rages on, and a mistake in the blue defense allows Avidity to retake the lead. Garrett tries to clear the ball but instead centers it for Subban, taking Nugs and Wildy Man completely off guard. For the rest of the match, Foremost fight hard to get back into the game, taking some stunning shots like this one. Until eventually Wildy Man finds his mark with only 20 seconds remaining. But despite their efforts, Snappy delivers the final blow, knocking in this kickoff goal to secure the first match. Game 2 shows the psychological aspects of Rocket League at work. Garrett cleanly hits a decent aerial towards the blue net, which would have been saved by the waiting Snappy had Subban not smashed the ball into his own net. The liveliness of Avidity diminishes for most of the match after this incident, which Foremost fully capitalize on. But this nice little pinch shot gives them a bit of a boost, ready for the next match. In fact, it's Avidity who drop the hammer and strike first, with Staced God and Subban putting their team two goals in front, although Snappy may well claim this one. 
Foremost pile on the pressure, but it's not until late in the match that Garrett finally breaks through with this lovely dribble. And he doesn't finish there, centering for Nugs only moments later. So to overtime it goes, and both teams fight frantically to take the lead. Foremost force their opponents into some very awkward positions, and sometimes the Blues don't make it easy on themselves either. However, it's Avidity who close the game with Subban clearing the path for Stace God to sink the shot. Nugs gets his team off to an early lead in match 4 by hitting this screamer after 30 seconds. But it's only another 30 seconds later that the reply comes from Snappy and Subban taking two delicate shots to equalise. After Subban and Nugs both go for the block and end up leaving the ball behind, Stace God cleans it up for 2-1. Foremost become super aggressive and must start feeling frustrated when they hit both posts, the bar, and all of their other shots are saved. Finally, Garrett finds the chink in the armor by ramming Subban out of goal and allowing Wildy Man to score the aerial. It goes to overtime once again, but not for long. Having broken the blue defense, Foremost ride their momentum and take the win. Both teams will now leave this encounter with at least six points, but they are right next to each other in the standings, and this last match will make a difference. Subban makes himself indispensable to his team, applying pressure, making saves, and putting his team ahead. Wildy Man shows that his skills are also on point in this match, making this beautiful aerial save before going on to assist Nugs. Foremost continue to display the type of aggression we saw in the previous match, but this time Avidity can't hold them back. It's a harsh ending for the blue team, but they can't be too disappointed with their six points from this series. Foremost leave with the full nine points though, so let's see how this affects the standings. Well, Foremost and Avidity are now level pegging in second place behind Double Tap after that series. Ascension and Weebs on Wheels are still to play each other, but here are things as they stand at the end of week two. Also, we have a little bit of news. Avidity have undergone a name change and will now be known as E-Versatile. If you haven't heard of the Pulsar Premier League yet and you'd like to check it out, click the link at the top of the description to visit their website. We really hope you've enjoyed our first pit stop, and things are only going to get bigger and better from here. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Edcase. And I've been Odyssey, and we will see you next week.